All right, good morning. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. Wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, great to have you joining us this morning. Candy, good morning. It's going to be a great day. Monica's in the house this morning on this Tuesday. Sandy, good morning. Good to see you today as well. Alex is watching with us, whether you are in California, Illinois, Missouri, Texas, Florida, North Dakota, South Dakota. It doesn't matter wherever you are this morning. Tony Erickson's in the house after that middle school basketball game yesterday. How'd Charlie do yesterday, man? It looked like he did great. All right, welcome everyone to another edition of Morning Prayer. I'm so glad you're joining us today. We've been talking about, uh, in the new year, focusing on a new life of prayer. And so I, I said, uh, prayer never begins with us. It always begins with God. In other words, uh, who we believe God to be affects both how we approach God and what we expect from God. So we looked at the different aspects of God's character, that God is, God is able, God is good, all of the different things, that God is sovereign, God is merciful, God is gracious, God is our strength, God is patient. All of those areas of God's character, because your, your understanding of who God is determines how you approach Him and what you expect. So we looked at the character of God as we, as we launched 2024 with a new emphasis in prayer. Then we looked at faith. We said that you can't get around the fact that Jesus affirmed people for their faith. Jesus commended their faith. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. Your faith has healed you. Jesus said, because of, of your faith, all of your sins are forgiven. So Jesus recognized that there was an element of faith and prayer. And it's important that we approach prayer from a place of faith in the character of God faith in who God has revealed himself to be. Yesterday, we started talking about the fact that the Bible encourages us to pray early in the day, in the morning. So we read verses like Psalm 5 yesterday. Uh, Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my groaning. Heed the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray, in the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. In the morning. In the morning I will pray. Psalm 63 is another verse that talks about that. 63.1. O oh God, you are my God. I shall seek you early. Early is in the morning. First thing. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh yearns for you as in a dry and weary land. So early means morning. At the start of the day. Before the chaos of the day breaks in on you. Before everything gets hectic. And we looked at Jesus and we said that Jesus often slipped away before the sun came up or right when the sun was coming up. And it says people were searching for Jesus. They, they, Jesus was, was getting away to pray in solitude by himself. And people were looking for him and the disciples were looking for him. When they found him, his prayer time ended. And I said that you, sometimes we got, we got to get up early to beat the rush of the day, to beat the distractions of the day, to have just a few minutes alone with God. And moms, you know what that's like. As soon as the kids wake up, man, you, your, your whole life changes. You've got to serve their needs, get them ready, and, and feed them, and, and clothe them, and all of those things. So the reality is that getting up early is vital to a successful prayer life. And, and I also said yesterday that, that getting up early and giving God the first of your day is following the principle of first fruits. The principle of first fruits in the Bible is that if you, if you give God the first of the harvest when it comes in, you're, you're, you're putting your faith in God and saying, God, I believe that you are going to bring a greater harvest yet to come. And so faith is, is in God. When you give God your time in the morning, when you give God your energy in the morning, when you give God your focus in the morning, you're, you're saying, God, I trust that you're going to give me multiple, you're going to multiply my time and give me more time as I go through the day. And he does. It's a supernatural principle. When you give the Lord the first of your income, your tithe, the Lord blesses that and multiplies that. Well, we're going to continue talking today about praying early. But when we pray early, it involves asking God to direct our day. Asking God to, to move our day in the way that's, that's pleasing to Him, in a way that, that puts favor on our life. And so I want to read a few scriptures this morning related to that. First, Psalm 37, verse 5. Psalm 37, verse 5. Let's read that together. It says this, Commit your way to the Lord... Trust also in him, and he will do it. Commit your way. Commit your way. Commit your day. Commit what's going to happen in the day to the Lord early in the day. You get up in the morning, and you spend your first few minutes with the Lord. Committing your day. Commit your way to the Lord, verse 5 says, 
Trust also in him and he will do it. Proverbs 16, verse 3 says this, Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Commit your works. What you're going to do, commit that to the Lord. And then Psalm 55, Psalm 55, verse 22, says this, Cast your burden. Another version says what the Lord has given you. Cast your burden or what the Lord has given you. Uh, cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Okay? So, so either we can, we can try to choose the direction of our day, or we can invite God to direct everything about our day. Commit your ways to the Lord. Commit your works to the Lord. Right? Um, give the Lord your, your day, and let him begin to direct it. Commit your activities to the Lord, and he will establish what is best in your life. He'll, he'll establish what, what your desire is for God's purpose in your life. Cast your burdens, what he's given you, on the Lord, and he will sustain you and not let your foot slip, right? What incredible promises when we pray early in the day and commit our ways, our burdens, our activities, our responsibilities, and our relationships, etc., to the Lord. That's what, that's what the psalmist is saying. That's what Proverbs is saying. Give the Lord your day. When you get up in the morning, go over what you're going to be doing. Your works, your activities, your burdens, your stresses, your anxieties. Oh God, this is what I'm facing today. Oh Lord, I need you to direct my day. I need you to direct my attitude. I need you to, to direct my responses to life today. I need you to, to, to direct um, the, the things that I do today, the meetings that I have, the interactions with people that I have. She, Prayer is supposed to happen early in the day, and you are to commit your day, commit your works to the Lord. When we pray early in the day, we talk to God about what we have to do. And so here's what we're going to do when we, when we pray early. And we're going to do it this morning. We're going to ask God to be present in all of our activities. We're going to say, God, we, we're, ask, we're committing our day to you. We're getting up early, and before we launch into the day, before the, the, the chaos breaks out in our day, we're asking you to be present with us in everything. In every meeting, in, in, in everything that we do today, we want you to be present. Secondly, we ask him to keep us from mistakes and sins. He, he, the, the, the Proverbs says he'll keep your foot from slipping. Okay, So we, we uh, commit this to the Lord. We say, Lord, keep us from saying things we shouldn't say. Keep us from doing things we shouldn't do. Keep us from, from uh, activities that we shouldn't be involved in today. Keep us from responding to people in, in inappropriate ways. And then we're asking the Lord to establish his will in our lives, in everything that we do. Let me remind you of those three things. We're going to ask God as we get up early in the morning to be present in all of our activities. We're going to ask him to keep us from mistakes and sins, to keep our feet from slipping. And we're going to ask him to establish his will in everything that we do today. Oh God, let your presence go with us today. Oh God, keep us from sins and mistakes. Oh God, we just ask you to, to establish your will and your purpose in everything that we do today. Jesus got up early in the morning and slipped away by himself to pray. And I believe he, he did this with the Father. Father, be with me today. Remember, Jesus said, I only do the things I see the Father doing. So I bet Jesus said, Father, show me what you're doing today. Show me, as I go through my day, what you're doing, what you're all about. Uh, Father, today, help me to follow your plan. Help me to follow your will. Establish your purpose in my life today, Lord. So let's bring that to the Lord. Bring your cares. Bring your burdens. Bring what's weighing you down. Bring your fears. Bring your activities. Bring your works. Bring your, bring your responsibilities to the Lord early, as we're going to do right now. And we're just going to ask the Lord for those three things. Can you pray with me this morning? Lord, we've got a lot going on today. We admit that. Uh, Lord, and, and that our responsibilities are creating burdens. They're creating anxiety, creating stress, creating worry. And so, Lord, we bring those to you today, and we, we, we ask you, Lord, today to be powerfully present as we, as we begin our day. Powerfully present today, Lord, in all of our activities. Help us not to slip with what we say. Help us not to sin in what we do. Help us not to sin as we interact with people. Help us to walk in the fruit of the Spirit today, Lord. Go before us today, Father. We pray, to, we pray today, Lord, that you would establish your purpose in the next 16 hours. That you would, you would, uh, we commit our ways to you and we pray that you would establish your will and your purpose. 
Lord, let us walk in a manner that's pleasing to you, in a manner that reflects your character today. So, Lord, early in the morning, just like Jesus, before the chaos breaks out, before we begin interacting with all of the people at work and school, we just ask, Lord, today for great grace to rest upon our lives. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on. Hey, you've got to ask the Lord every day. Commit your works to the Lord. Commit your plans to the Lord, and they'll be established. Get up early in the morning and say, God, you've got to order my day. You've got to direct my day. You've got to be the one that, that is involved in my day. And if you, if you start praying in, in the evening or when your day's over, you've missed a whole opportunity to walk with God and for God to be involved in your day. It's going to be a great day. You're going to win Tuesday today. Because you got up early this morning and you prayed and you got into scripture. Have an awesome Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow morning.